Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is my latest match video. It's from uh, my local match at Bradford Sportsman's Club, USPSA Level 1. Earlier in the week, I did pull a groin muscle, so my movement is compromised. So you'll notice me moving a lot slower, uh, a lot more choppier than I have been, kind of moving the way I moved the first, the first couple matches I ever shot. That said though, I did the best in this match than I think I've done in any match. And that's all due to focusing on uh, my target, my target transitions, and also keeping my eyes on the target as I moved. Like finding the next target and watching it through the, the snow wall as you move into position and shooting earlier, shooting sooner. And that paid off gangbusters. I was still able to have good movement and kind of like short bursts in a uh, little between little distances it's just kind of picking up speed or really pushing my body weight i was uh really compromised with another issue that popped up for me was my 170 millimeter mag my big stick uh so this whole time for all these matches this season since i got the mag i've been pulling the mag out between stages uh cleaning it and stretching the spring and turns out that's a big no-no so I've been getting jams mid mag, so you'll see in every stage whether I needed to reload or not. It'll look like a reload for the video, but in reality, it's a malfunction due to the mag. So I got a gram spring and follow. All my times are pretty competitive. Uh, if it wasn't for those mag malfunctions, I would have at least took a second to three quarters of a second off each stage. Another deficiency with this match for me is a. Uh, Something I should know better, but I didn't. I didn't exercise discipline and stage planning. I kind of. I didn't do a lot of visualization. I let myself get distracted, and that's something I need to work on. I need to get a, a better handle on my stage planning. That's still something I'm, I'm. I'm struggling with it. Not the stage planning itself, but the visualization. I am not visualizing enough in between. So you'll see the hiccups. I want to get 20 to 40 reps of visualization. So again, something I need to work on. This was the only stage I was able to get any uh, third person footage and you see I have a hiccup at the beginning there where I kind of forgot the position I was supposed to be in but I quickly corrected it and then that worked into a magazine malfunction which again had to correct. So this is just training footage from uh, the week prior going up still working with that injury and just trying to work on getting to those targets sooner. That, that, that was a huge thing to pick up this week just getting to the targets sooner. So I'm on the mend and uh, feeling a lot better than I was last week and hopefully with another week or so of rest I'll be back up to 100% of motion. But I'm excited to see when I add, you know, my proper movement to uh, kind of the new the new target acquisition I've been doing to get the target sooner and uh, transitions I've been working on and kind of putting the whole thing together to see how much, how much more that will affect my game. Okay, something you didn't get to see, I didn't get uh, any footage of was... The uh, classifier from this last match, and it was it was a give me. It was three targets, and all you had to do was draw and unload on three targets at like seven meters. It was such a give me, and I decided to go. Yeah, I decided to go like full retard, and I I got insane splits. They had to be like 14 splits, but totally whiffed on a Virginia count with a mic. Overall, it wasn't so bad. I got fifth overall, second in open division, and uh, first in C class. My best uh, finish yet. So if you made it this far, thanks for putting up with my atrocious New England accent, and I'll see you on the ring.